Cummins is bringing a new engine to the North American marketplace. New engines sometimes make buyers nervous, but this one has already earned its stripes overseas where it was known as the ISG. Cummins took the wraps off the engine in July while unveiling its 2017 X15 lineup. The engine is called the X12. It's not a repackaged or rebranded ISX12, but an entirely new engine designed fresh from the oil pan up. The new 11.8-liter machine is a smaller, lighter engine with what Cummins calls the best power-to-weight ratio in its class. Hi, I'm Jim Park. I'm at the Transportation Research Center in East Liberty, Ohio, where Cummins has just announced its new X12 engine for vocational and regional applications. The ultimate successor to the M10 and M11 engines, this engine was first introduced to the world in September of 2013, just prior to going into production in a joint venture with Chinese truck maker Photon. Since then, the X12 has logged about a billion miles in markets like China, Germany and Australia. Here's the X12 program director, Steve Reedy, with an overview of the engine. My name is Steve Reedy. I work for Cummins Incorporated, and I am the program leader for the X12. The X12 is a product new to the market here in, in North America. It is a 12-liter product, and its uh, intended uses is the uh, vocational and, and really targeting regional hall markets where a compact, light, small package uh, is really uh, especially applicable in the shorter cab configurations. The ratings are up to 455 in, in the line haul market and up to 475 in a vocational market. This is one of the lightest engines in the market. It's actually best in class at 2050 pounds. That weight savings came from really good engineering work and analysis led design to only put weight where it is needed in the cylinder head and the cylinder block and different components within the engine. The X12 features a single cam in-head design with a roller valve train and high efficiency intake and exhaust ports along with the latest version of the Cummins VGT turbocharger and an integrated low-weight engine brake. The Cummins Extra High Pressure Fuel Injection System boasts injection pressures of 29,000 PSI at all engine speeds and it's capable of multiple injection events for quieter, more efficient combustion. It's also designed with the flexibility to incorporate Cummins Adept, Smart Coast and Predictive Cruise Control functions. It comes from the factory wired for Cummins connected calibration and connected tuning applications, along with connected diagnostics to improve serviceability and reduce downtime. For vocational and emergency truck applications, the X12 offers front and rear power takeoff drives and a side mounted drive. It will use Cummins patented single module after treatment system and it's factory compliant with phase one greenhouse gas and fuel efficiency standards. We had a brief opportunity to drive the engine on the seven-mile oval track at the Transportation Research Centre. There was no load on the trailer and the engine fan was stuck on due to a calibration issue. Other than that, the engine felt pretty darn good. Right now we're cruising at 65 miles per hour at 11.25 RPM. This would be a pretty standard cruising speed for this engine in line haul service. Uh, notice when we were starting off, the uh, shift RPMs went up pretty high, like 14, 15. I'd have been happy with around 11 or 12, but it's the way this one's set up. Just tweak it up to 70 here now. So 70 mile an hour right now at uh, about 12 and a quarter. The rating on this engine's 455, 1,700 pound feet of torque. 72 mile an hour right now, about 1250. For a small engine, it sure feels pretty good. We've got an empty trailer, mind you, but uh, not really making the thing work that hard. But I just uh, took my foot off the gas and slowed down here for the service center for the chamber. And uh, put the engine brake on. What it did immediately was downshift once and then downshift for the second time. Obviously, trying to optimize the engine speed for the, uh, for the pressure brake. Just made another downshift. So it's pretty aggressive. It's revving about 1650, 1500 on that one. And for a small displacement engine, mind you, we are empty. Uh, there's quite a bit of recharging power there, especially when the RPM gets up. So they've set it up obviously with the downsped drive line. You don't get a lot of uh, activity on the engine brake at 1200 RPM, so they bump that up. 
15, 16, 1700, and then it really starts to perform. As we noted earlier, this engine has been in service overseas for a few years now. North American fleets will soon be able to take advantage of everything it offers. This product in the uh, global configuration has been in production since 2014. In North America, the X-12 will be introduced and available to customers in the calendar year 2018. There's a quick look at Cummins' new X-12 engine. We'll do a deeper dive on the machine sometime in the fall. In the meantime, check out our other two videos on the Cummins X-15. One's a performance version, the other is a little more efficiency-minded. You can find them both on our YouTube channel, Today's Trucking One. For Heavy Duty Trucking and Today's Trucking, I'm Jim Park at the launch of the X-12 engine held at the Transportation Research Center in East Liberty, Ohio.